Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Infinifactory. As always, if you have been enjoying these videos, leave a like down below, show some love. Thank you as always for your support on these videos. And let's do this. Let's jump into another puzzle once again. It's reminding me that I can't do the anti-javelin one. I probably can do it, but it looks like one that would drive me mad and take a long time. Now, I want to pick one of these two puzzles and then we'll do the one after it as well. However, if both of these look absolutely amazing, we might do both. So let's check out, we'll call it Space Boy for now. <laughs> I'm sure many of you will correct me on this. That looks really cool. And we're just going to try and suss out both of these levels and then pick one that we want to do. Now this one's got painting again, and I feel like I've uh, done a fair amount of that already. Dave has been trying to get me to eat what he calls fish cake. I asked him what was in it, but he didn't really know. I told him that me and my sort don't consume animal protein. He called me a vegan and then walked away laughing. Is that an insult? Sounds like an insult. Okay, I wasn't really paying attention to that. <laughs> um, right, so I think making this shape right here relatively easy. Run it through some eviscerators when it gets to a particular point, which you'd probably detect at the top. Although it would have a strip of free. You shoot it with lasers. I don't think that's going to be too difficult to suss out. Um, so once we've done that, we've got to attach that on top, which I think is a bit arbitrary. It's just a little something else to do. So running it around these things might be tricky again. I didn't enjoy that one last time too much. And it's basically... Mm, it might be a case of... I think going across, dropping down and going back again is more difficult. So we possibly could create a little contraption that just goes, um, let's see, up. Or let's say we're coming down, across, up, and then down again. So we do that three times, rotate it to the other, build the same thing there. Then it gets rotated and runs through the same process. And somewhere in the middle of that, that gets attached. I feel I feel like that's going to be a time-consuming one, but relatively an easy challenge. So we will go back to the barracks and take a look at the other one. These are resistance sh shuttles. And I have to click on create new solution. That's why nothing happened when I clicked over there. Now this already looks a little bit more complicated. <laughs> yep, I've got a feeling I'm going to take the easier challenge because I really want to see like the last level and the, and the end of this game now. Since I helped create many of these tools, I'd like to see how others use them. So I was looking at some of the factories you've built and they're pretty great. What you did with that conveyor and, and the, the rotator, I just, wow, I, I've never even thought of that. And to use the pusher for that, right? Unfathomable! How do you come up with this stuff? I, I forgot what I actually wanted to talk to you about. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, I don't think I want to do this one. This one looks really, really menacing. And another thing, they are they are pretty much laser blocks, right? Or are they slightly different? I mean, yeah, they're, they're laser blocks right there. So it gives us laser blocks. Look at that. Um, I've got an idea here. Let's say we put a conduit here and a detector above it. It's attached itself to it and it actually fires. So that could add like an added challenge is to avoid that thing going next to your wires and stuff. Now another thing I wanted to see here. Right, that one comes out twice as fast as this one which makes sense because there's one of those and two of them. Uh, I'm going to pass on this one right here. It looks very difficult. Let's go... Well, we don't need really need to go back into the level, so I'll do a little bit on this one, and I'll show you what I come up with. So this, my friends, is how you get off to a good start. Bam! <laughs> We've built the first bit immediately, so that's fantastic. And now, as I said, the challenge is to, to send it over this way and get it to go around the white ones here and get fully painted. Alright, so as I started out doing a up and down thing, I started to think about doing an across, down, and across again. And this is sort of what I come up with. So let's speed it up a little. Why did it do that that time? Oh yeah, I think I decided to test it like that anyway. So it goes across, drops down, and then, oh no, doesn't work. And then I looked at it and I realised the problem is that the thing we're using is too wide, so it doesn't need to be directly under. There's so many little assumptions like this I continuously make, and I don't know, I feel like maybe it's just me, but do a lot of you that play in Finifactory have that, where you just continuously have to revise and test? Because it certainly feels like that. Anyway, it goes all the way across, and almost worked for a second, so we've got a little bit of a loop going on there. Maybe what we need 
is for this detector to be a little bit bigger. So we'll do that and see if that makes uh, any difference. Okay, so that gets retracted earlier. Right. Oh, it's free wide. <laughs> okay, so we need to come back one more time. That also might mean that that is not actually necessary. And here we go again. So we're changing these ones. So they're sticky. We're moving these across. By the way, this can be one lower now. It was because it was close to that stuff that I had to move it. So... Right, and then... Okay, okay, I think this is going to work. We just need that there. I had sort of... Oh. <laughs> I had anticipated this. Now it can't be pushed out again. Ah, uh, maybe... Maybe we don't want to do it this way. Oh, no, that's not going to work. I thought I was picking the easier challenge. I'm now seeing that maybe it's not the easier one because if we were to mirror this on the other side, this right here is totally in the way. I mean, those sensors alone are going to be an issue. So, yikes. I'm really going to have to rethink this. We can obviously use the sensors on this side over here, which would make a lot more sense. And if we did that, um, it would solve our problem here, actually. Oh, right. So here's me messing around with this up here. I think that would still work. If we count one, two, three and then put our sensor on this side there it is, we rotate ah, and it's right next to that one which needs to be lowered by one so that might not be an issue can we put you there there we go, no! accidentally deleted it but I can actually just right click on that instead okay so that will technically work and we'd connect it here right? but we also want one on this side over here and it can't be connected directly so it would have to go there. Right, and I think all of that is correct. So that means that's no longer in the way. And everything should be good. Drops down, goes across. Yeah. Uh, that one fell down, didn't it? Apparently I didn't finish connecting that properly. <laughs> oh, there we go. Right, and off it goes. So if we can do the same thing on the opposite side over here... We might just get away with this one. Okay, so important thing to show you here is that we can override paint. Now, why is that important? Because we accidentally paint this side when we wrap around the corner there. So we're almost sort of done here. What we've got to do is make a little contraption to push it up, send it back across that way, which I'm hoping it doesn't like mess up the one coming around that corner. It shouldn't do. Um, so it'll come back across and then go into this one. But I'm also very wary now of how much space this little bit takes off away from there. What, one, two, three, six blocks? So if we counted, that's all the way over to here, which means we have a gap of three blocks. So I've got a feeling by the time we get to this one, we're going to be building it on this side and this side, and then it goes across to there. And somewhere in the middle of all that, we're also going to weld that thing on the top. Okay, I'm trying to connect this thing over here and get that out of the way now. And getting the timing right is a little bit tricky, but I think I've sussed it out. I've been running this over here several different ways. I think it just doesn't quite arrive in the right position. So basically, if you run it over this bit, it's good. Um, but then you would actually need the welders on the opposite side, whereas I've been trying to put it here and it will get pushed into it, right? Um, so maybe... <laughs> oh, that's, that's very bad. So let's connect that up there. By the way, there's a little gap there to let it through to the other side, if you're wondering. So this time, ooh, very close, and it stops. Does it actually need to go further across? Is that the problem? I've got on ahead of myself here. No, it just stops. Wait, I must have changed something somewhere. Or does this get in the way of that? What have I done? What have I broken? What's gone? Why is it still up high? Shouldn't have it have fallen down by now. What? Okay, there we go. It works now. Uh, it turns out I'd accidentally rotated this one here. It took me a while to spot that because I thought, hang on a minute, I've not changed anything. Why is it not working? So another silly little mistake that can be made, I guess, from time to time. Now, somewhere in the process of doing that, I changed that over from being a conveyor belt, and I don't know why. But it looks like if we were to change it, we would no longer require this little bit hanging over the side, which is always nice. Aha, now we know why. <laughs> so we painted one half of it red, but we've done that slightly different, as you are about to see. Actually, this might get sort of messed up because of that one being there. 
and apparently it doesn't. So yeah, I thought that would be a little bit more efficient. Might make it a little bit tricky to do the next bit now actually, because we've got to rotate it twice and then push it along sort of a similar space. So that might have been a bad idea after all. So I've rotated it twice here, and then I found myself a little bit baffled as to what's gone wrong. We only really need to rotate it once, because we've sort of... Actually, no, yeah, no, no, it's because we go from this side to that side, we're only turning once. So we don't need this second one. And if I speed that up again, and we watch it come all the way through, we need to suss out what's the next best move. So... It gets shuffled like that, and that's kind of perfect, actually, because look at how... That's actually really good. We can move this across, and I think we can either go up and across, down and out, or the other way around. I think going up first will be the best, plus it removes the complication of this rotating it again. But yes, that side over there is blank, and now we've got to bring it across here, and we're very nearly done. Okay, quick answer. No, we're not going to be going above first. It looks like we will have to go um, across at the regular height and then come back up from this way because, yeah, that thing's not getting across, is it? I'm going to guess now that this is it, that it has been finished because this is the little contraption over on this side. So you can see, like, that bit there. <laughs> uh, bit weird the way it worked out. Bit clunky and big. Yay! I was anticipating one thing, which was that this had to be like rotated a certain direction, but it looks like it can be rotated in any direction and attached, and that is it. We have done it. The next level is the last level. Not bad on the cycle score. Footprint's alright. Block score's not too good. I'm not too fussed about that. I want to play the final level now. Now that one there looked really mental. Oh, and that is that actually it? Because... It's not another level, is it? Oh, right. <laughs> well, let's click on this then. Is it just... Am I just going to get spoken to here? Just as I thought. These tools are magnificent. Yes, of course they are. You, a burst into flames, and <laughs> now we've made a number of useful components for the space station and the homeworld He's burst fleet. into flames, has he? Great job. It was a pleasure. No. An honour. An honour <laughs> to work with you. Well, I'm glad it was. Likewise, my friend. Manners. <laughs> um, yeah, so I know some of you will be disappointed that we haven't technically done all of the, uh, you know, the missions. But this game takes a long, long time to play. It really does. And, oh man, there's extra stuff down here. We're just going to investigate this quickly. So is this the same as the previous test zone thing? Might not be the same. Let's see if we jump in there. If it looks different, I'll probably remember. Yeah, this is definitely different. There's a lot more stuff going on here. Um, also, oh yeah, you got to... Right, there's nothing coming through because you've got to do that yourself. So you can have blocks come out. I mean, oh, the the options now are just endless, aren't they? Like the possibilities, not the options. Because you can pull these out and assemble machines with them. Yeah, you could really get your head into this stuff. Okay, that's cool. Let's exit to the barracks. And... There's no custom puzzles, but there's a new puzzle or a classic puzzle. Right, and then I am I making the puzzle? Wow, there's a stamper here. Is that the final block? Oh, wow. Tools, basic stamping products. Right, so stamping things. Right, it's highlighting what's directly below it. Oh, wow, you could have so much fun with this, couldn't you? So what happens if you put down like a product? Oh wow, this this is awesome. Like what's the product? Oh no, is that the thing that we put it into at the end? I think it is actually. Right, so I had it mentioned to me before, but you guys could technically like send me puzzles to play and I'm not sure if I'm going to do too many more Infinite Factory videos or do them anytime soon. Um, but that's cool that we can do this. So there's something else I was looking for here. Structure? That's that's the stuff down here, isn't it? We can we can include a teleporter. And there's also area select. So what does that do? Right. <laughs> and then oh oh, maybe you're able to move it. I'm not gonna mess around with this too much. Can we go through to the other side? By right clicking on it? No. <laughs> yeah, fascinating stuff. Oh, wait a minute. That looks like... Oh, right. That's the room we've been in the whole time. <laughs> and this is just behind it. 
Wow. Where's the where's the thing where the items come out of the wall? I don't see that on here. But there is a stamper and a panel. Anyway, we don't want to spend too long looking at this. So there was one other thing which was the Steam Workshop. And I guess that's probably going to take me out of the game, isn't it? Okay, so the Steam Workshop has some puzzles, but none of them have really been rated yet, so it's hard to know what you're going to get. And uh, I have really, really enjoyed playing this again, so we might come back in the future. I might play some of your uh, puzzles, maybe do the occasional video, and some Steam Workshop ones when there's more there to be played. So that's it. I really want to go into F5 mode, but it's not Minecraft. We can't do that. So... So yeah, that's it from me this series. Do hope you have enjoyed it as always. Thank you so much for your support. I've had a really great time playing this game. And I may see you again soon. Bye-bye.